Today we are looking at what I think is one of the best budget lighting kits to get and use for a home or YouTube studio. Because if you're like me, you're on a budget but still want the best bang for your buck, especially when it comes to equipment. So the kit we are taking a look at is the newer 2-pack 480 RGB LED video lights, which are right behind me and I'll make sure to link below. I have personally been using these lights for the last two years on a couple professional shoots as well as all of these YouTube videos. And I can honestly say it's one of the easiest and best setups to use. What's so great about this kit is it comes with everything you could possibly need. Two RGB LED lights, stands for both lights, power supply, barn doors, diffuser plates, soft boxes. So when I said everything, I meant everything. But wait, the best part is everything I just mentioned fits into one single bag, which is crazy, especially since the bag isn't even that big. This makes it nice for storing the whole kit between shoots and makes it easy when it's time to set it up. The lights themselves are fantastic because they're plenty bright at 38 watts and have a dimmable range from zero to 100%. I typically have my lights set around 40% of the brightness when I film in my studio. These lights have a CRI of 97, which CRI means color rendering index and it's measured from zero to 100. If you pause this video, you can read this article about it. Essentially, this means the higher the number, the better the quality and consistency of the colors. So in other words, it's a good light. You can adjust the color temperature from 3200K to 5600K, as well as these lights feature an RGB mode. In the RGB mode, you're able to adjust the hue, saturation, and intensity to obtain any RGB color you want. This can help with setting up for any atmosphere you want or need. These lights also have nine different preset scenes built into them, such as cop car, ambulance, fire truck, party, fireworks, paparazzi, and TV screen. This ensures you're ready to go for any video scenario you can imagine. The best part is you can control all of these settings from an app so you don't have to spend time switching through all the buttons on the light itself. You're also able to sync both lights to the same settings as well as save presets for future use in the app. I personally haven't used the app a whole lot. It's fantastic for the ease of using for selecting settings but can also be finicky at times. This kit includes these white diffusers, which I keep attached to my lights at all times. This helps soften the light as well as reduce glare, which if you're filming yourself is a must have. And in the case these diffusers aren't giving you enough soft light, they have also included these soft boxes, which they actually work very well. I will typically use a soft box for my main light and keep only the diffuser on for my second light. These soft boxes can be a little tricky to get on with the brackets that hold the lights, as well as you have to remove the diffuser and the barn doors, which the barn doors come in handy and why I leave them on my second light is they enable us to choose where we want the light and block where we don't. This makes it so we can really focus in the light on the subject without having spill onto the background or any other areas we don't want the extra light. As well as these fold up nicely together which protects the LEDs when you are storing. The light stands can fully extend up to 6.2 feet as well as when folded down they are 2.2 feet. Again this makes this extremely easy to store and transfer to different locations. You're able to adjust the angle of the light using these knobs attached to the brackets. And you'll notice that where the light bracket attaches to the stand, you're able to use this vertical or horizontal. This is super handy if you ever need to light something from straight above. If you're ever in a remote location with no plugs, you're able to power these lights by using specifically NP-F ion batteries, which are not included, but it is a great add-on and feature if you find yourself in such a scenario. The only downside I see to this kit is it only includes two lights, which don't get me wrong, the quality and everything about these lights are great and I highly recommend them. But if you want a proper lighting setup for your videos, it usually requires three lights. And if you want to learn why that is and how to set that up, you can click here and I'll see you over there. Peace.